Hello, and welcome to my guide on how to replace a screen for a Dell XPS Studio 1645. Now what you're going to need is a hexagon screwdriver, a four-piece screwdriver, of course a new screen that will fit with your computer, and let's begin. Alright, so step one is use the hexagon screwdriver for these four screws. So then just put the screen all the way down. Try to pop them out from underneath. Alright, once you've done that, you're going to want to pull all of this around open. It's glued with double stick tape, so I do something very thin to kind of slowly pry it out. Alright, so once you got rid of this, there's going to be six screws you have to take out. Top left, top right, two on the bottom right, and two on the bottom left. Now they're very obvious which ones you have to take out. It's, they're obviously connected to the screen itself. Um, the top ones are very easy to get rid of. The bottom ones, I would recommend a very thin screwdriver like this one. They're kind of hard to get into. Um, but again, they're all very loose, so you don't have to struggle with them too much. All right, now once you've got all the screws out, you're gonna gently put the screen down like this, so the screen comes out. Open it up, and now you have two steps to do before you can start putting in the new screw. Now as you can see, right over here, there's two screws that need to be taken out on both sides. Just so you know, they can use the same screwdriver, but they're different sizes. So p p put these four aside. And it's very important for you to know, the last thing you have to do is take this part out. But there's a little tape. So just pull out the tape, it opens up the clamp. And these are very fragile, so pull out the tape very gently. All right, once you've taken the old screen out, took out the sides, got this out, put the new screen face down, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out these yellow little tapes around, but leave the front cover on. Um, so you're gonna take the tape off, and you're gonna connect this back here, and then you're gonna connect these, the two sides, back to the screen. All right, now the next step, once you put back the sides and the back, is you're just gonna open the screen up. It's gonna look like this. You're just gonna to want to adjust it so it's nice and where it should be. And then you're kind of starting back from the beginning. All you gotta do now is just put the screws back in. I don't think you guys want to see me. All right guys, we're almost done. So you just put in all six screws, and I will say the bottom ones are really annoying, but you've done that. Now you're almost done. All you gotta do, take off the plastic film here. Now be very careful, because you don't wanna have any thought once you made sure the inside of the screen is clean as the glass, you're just going to slide this in and do just like you did before. You're going to just push it in a little bit and let it snap in like that. Make sure it snaps in everywhere, of course. You hear that? That sounds good. All right, so we're pretty much done at this point. Remember that we just have these two pieces and the four hexagons. Um, obviously, put them back in. They don't go either side. It's very important that you put the right one on the right side. It's kind of obvious by the outside and the inside shape. And then flip it over and make sure that the back is clicked in. And now the final step is just put in the four hexagons. I don't know if you really need to see me put them in since we just put them in. The four hexagons are back in. Let's test it out. Will we see some magic? <laughs> 